these are going to turn into rear wheel skids if you mismanage it. Um, so you're going to see this video of a person who has a front wheel skid, incorrectly handles it, and it turns into a rear wheel skid, and that's kind of the worst case scenario. And then afterwards, we're going to talk about some things you could do to mitigate this, what this driver could have done beforehand or during to, uh, to stop this from happening. So you saw when he first came into the corner, you could hear all that skidding on his front wheel skid. And as he exited the turn, you could see him fishtail all the way around and turn into a full rear wheel skid. So this here, like I said, this is kind of the worst thing that can happen to you. You got two problems going on at once. So to mitigate this, the best thing he could have done is less steering, less braking, and done it all sooner in the turn. Um, as he, once he got into it, it was kind of a little bit too late. He started oversteering and over braking, and that's what caused both these problems. Secondary thing you could have done is once you get here and you realize that this is a problem, just stop. That's why we talked about it earlier. Um, straighten your wheel out and step on the brakes and just stop your car. Um, it's better to just go straight off and slow and uh, control it as opposed to doing something like this. You're trying to fix it, you're trying to be a hero, and this is what happens. You get a full fishtail. If this happened at 50, 60 miles an hour, I mean, obviously you can see how that'd be catastrophic. Okay, and as you touched on going on a little bit faster, this is what it's going to result in. And this is just because of incorrect uh, ways to try to, to mitigate that rear, uh, rear end slide. 